Hi everyone, my name is Kyle. Um, in this video, I discuss with my friend Alex uh, all the various ways that ADHD fucks us over. Um, although I don't have an I don't have an official diagnosis myself. Alex does, and I'm sure that most of uh, people that do have ADHD uh, can probably relate to some of my experiences here. Uh, anyway. Uh, I want to keep the ball rolling. I recorded this yesterday. I'm editing it today. Hopefully, I'm going to upload it today. Um, I'm going to try to keep the momentum going because how else am I going to justify this $300 expense uh, that I've just impulsively made on on the drive home from? Uh, well, I can't tell you because that's going to be spoilers. Uh, you'll just have to find the video, uh, watch the video to find out exactly what I'm talking about. Anyway, enjoy. <laughs> did you? What did you want to say? What's What's the story? Okay. What happened? This all right, this, the story, okay. Um, basically, I'll, I'll just start from the beginning. Um, That's a good place to start. Yeah. Top so, notch. <laughs> so I started out the day, I had a little bit of a sleep in um, because I was up late last night and I, I had a little bit of a sleep in and I knew that I was going to be training with my coach at about nine o'clock. Um, of course, I'm never on time. And I always hit snooze on my alarm about 20 times before I actually get out of bed. So after doing that and rolling out of bed, uh, making myself breakfast and then getting ready to leave, um, I was already five minutes late and I, you know, already off to a really great start. And I had, I smashed my session out with my coach finishing at about 11 or a quarter past. And I had already um, had plenty of time before uh, I was meant to start work. I was meant to start work at about quarter part, uh, sorry, quarter to two. And um, I knew that I would have plenty of time. I would be able to get all my meal prep in. I would be able to do any steps that I wanted to do. Uh, I might even get to play some video games. I thought, fuck, I've got so much time. Um, I don't know why I lied to myself like that because... <laughs> <laughs> because because <laughs> that that uh you know two and three quarter hours um that that went by like that and next thing i know um i'm rushing out the door uh trying to figure out how to calculate all my my macros for my meals uh so that i can so i can go to work where i'm going to be for the next eight hours um and i'm not going to starve so yep. I'm, I'm about five minutes late. I'm, I'm zooming down the, um, uh, God, what, what's the road called? Ipswich motorway heading off to work. Um, okay. and I'm, I'm stressing out because I'm, I'm, this is not, this is not a place cause I work at lots of different houses. It's not a place. It, it's, it's a relatively new house that I've been working at and I don't want to make a bad impression. Yeah. Uh, you can, you might be able to get away with that with some houses and some people are a bit yeah. more lenient than others, but this one, I just, you know, I, I just didn't want to push it so hard. So I was a little bit stressed out. Um, mm -hmm. Anyway, I, uh, I arrive a couple minutes late. I'm thinking, oh shit, you know, I'm, I'm really behind. I'm going to be in trouble. And I rock up. I rock up uh, to work, um, get through the door, and the uh, person that I was expecting to take uh, to take over from uh, in the handover shift, she looks at me and she says, "What on earth are you doing here?" She says, "This is Paul's shift." <laughs> I'm like, "What are you talking about?" And she's like. You're not meant to work today. You're not on the roster. And I, and I said, "Yes, I am." And and she's like, "No." And then she goes and she gets the printed version of the roster and she shows it to me. And my name's not there. And and at this point, I'm panicking. I'm like, "Oh shit! Did I just, you know, was was this this was this fire that was set under my ass completely unnecessary?" Did I just cause myself a whole bunch of unnecessary stress to rock up to a shift that I wasn't even meant to be at? And I open my uh, my online roster um, 
my online roster um, app thing and I never yeah. check it because I'm so used to having my regular shifts. Yeah, yeah. So I just, I got into the habit of just not really looking at it at all. And then I, I did, um, I opened it and, and sure enough, I wasn't there. Um, but that wasn't even the most concerning thing that I saw. Uh, at the bottom of the app, it tells me the accumulated number of all my hours for the, for the next two weeks. And I see at the bottom there, I see that the accumulated number of hours is uh, just less than half of what my contracted total is. Yeah. And I, I look at that and I think, oh, fuck, what, what's going on? I said, well, I knew that one of the one of the clients that in the houses that I work with, I knew that they were going away on holiday. Mm-hmm. But I thought surely I'd be rostered onto a few different houses to make up for those lack of hours there. Yeah. Um, and I tell this to the the woman that I was taking over from who, who incidentally, she said, well, the guy that was meant to come, he's not come yet. So maybe you might even be able to snag his shift. So, well, that would be lucky for me. i get to do the shift that I was actually expecting to do, but didn't, wasn't meant to be doing. Um, and now I'm having a, a mind blank. Um, It's it's not even like like you cause yourself all of this stress to find out that oh that's not actually happening, but it's not like that immediately goes away. Like you still have to come down from that and get your your brain sort of realigned. Yeah, well, I because I I ended up sitting in my car um, after after sorry after I after I told this this person um, that I was being that I had less than half my rostered hours. She's like, oh, you can't, you can't stand for that. You got to talk to someone. I said, well, fucking know if I will. I'm going to call my coordinator. Um, yeah. And I'm sitting in my car and I'm, I'm, I'm typing an angry email to the, to the, <laughs> to the rostering, uh, to the rostering staff um, say, why am I not, why have I got less than half of my contracted hours? Um, and I get an email back while I'm sitting in the car saying, Kyle, you've listed yourself as unavailable to work for five of the next seven days. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 she and she said, let, "Let me let me know if this is no longer if this if this is no longer the case, and we will." work to get you some hours um and then it was when i realized that oh yes i had preemptively booked those days as me being unable to work because i was going to have a uh back-to-back uh, three-day back-to-back tattoo appointment and then that was yeah when it sort of the switch sort of flicked for me. I'm like, oh, I, rem- I remembered. I remember that I was getting the three day tattoo appointment back to back. I remembered that. I did not retain. It didn't register that I that that was the reason why I had a decrease in hours because I had taken those days off. So I remember the appointment, but I didn't remember yeah, that because my <laughs> time isn't real. Time isn't real. It just you can know that. This is a thing that's going to happen, but this is my, my routine. And the brain just is like, no, I yeah. understand this is going to happen, but this is my routine. And it just does not register that your routine's going to sort of change. No. It's like, yeah. I'm, I'm the same. Like I, I have that with like, Oh, anything that's date related, like birthdays as a specific example. All the time, I know when someone's birthday is. I don't know what today is. So, like, I'll know theoretically that today is Wednesday the 24th. (laughs) But it won't register that this thing that I've been thinking of from way back Mm. is the 24 it's today like it won't they won't like tie in Mm. they're just two separate entities (laughs) yeah 
I it was I I just couldn't really believe it. I was sort of in shock, not just at the fact that I'd rocked up to a shift that I wasn't meant to. I've never done that before, but not just at that fact, but that also for some reason I had completely not registered that I had taken time off next week and that that was the decrease of hours and that I had very very sort of like I was I was very convinced that I'd been shafted by HR or the the rostering team or something like that I thought somebody's fucked up here somebody's fucked up here and it wasn't me I couldn't have done this So, I and I just was in complete shock, and I thought, "Oh my god, I can't believe that I've done this. This would make for a really good story." Um, and and then it was in that moment that I thought, "Oh well, you know, I was I was bloody floating the idea in the last day or so of just doing a podcast. Maybe I should just mm. fucking just get the equipment and do it because otherwise I'm not going to do it. And this is just yeah. the perfect sort of." excuse almost to get me started yeah. so yeah content <laughs> yeah absolutely and also i mean i don't i i think there's both like that impulsivity but there's also that object permanence so i find if i don't start something when i impulsively want to then i'm likely to just it, it it'll just go and like you know five months down the line i might go oh i remember i had this idea i was going to do this and then because i didn't action it then it ceased to exist mm. so it's sort of that you don't want to be like your impulsivity gets in the way but also you have to go with it. Otherwise it's not going to happen. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I like, I can't, it's weird. It's like a double edged sword because sometimes, sometimes the impulsivity is really good because yeah. otherwise I'm not going to get anything done. Um, but at the same time, I can really just shoot myself in the foot. Um, not just shoot myself in the foot, but I'll just blow my whole leg off. Like, <laughs> I was so sure that I was right. I was, <laughs> I was so sure. <laughs> I, can, I, I feel I can really, I feel imagine, really bad. I can the email that you sent. I, <laughs> I feel really bad um, to to the poor uh, rostering lady. Yeah, you know, she's probably look. She she sent me a screenshot as well of what it looked like on her end because I had actually blocked out a whole. It's because on on their system it shows like. The fortnight, right? And then you've got, you've got in blue, uh, you've got periods where you've got r r rostered shifts on these on these days, and then in red, you have the days which somebody, either a coordinator or, or a staff member, has uh, listed themselves as being unavailable. And I was looking at that at that image that she sent. She attached this <laughs> to the email, and it was just a sea of red. It was, it was just, I, I couldn't believe. I, I said, oh. what did I say? I said, I can see that I've only been given 30 hours this fortnight period, half the hours I would normally have. Are there any shifts available that I can take? Kind regards. And she said, good afternoon, Kyle. Please see attached your roster for the fortnight. <laughs> As, as you will see, it shows that you are unavailable for Tuesday to Saturday in the second week. Please let me know if this is not correct and we will have a look at the hours that have already been filled. Oh, uh, you just fucked a Wednesday. <laughs> I, I did because I prepared myself that I was going to be doing a shift. I, f I rock up there, I find out I'm not doing a shift. And I'm still processing while I'm in the car thinking, what am I going to be doing with the rest of my day? I've done my training. I've done most of my steps. I've done my, my meal prep. The fuck else am I going to do? I could play some video games. Then I thought, you know, JB Hi-Fi is on the way home. I could probably just stop by and just grab some equipment and just have a bit of a rant. 
a little bit of a yawn. <laughs> I mean, how else am I going to justify uh, this three hundred dollars, three hundred dollar impulse expense? Oh God, I think mine was like seventy. <laughs> yeah. See, I so it was it was two hundred for the microphone, and then I spent like another oh, eighty, I think, for the for the head for the headphones to actually plug into this thing. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. But I've heard I've heard good things about this microphone, so I knew roughly which one that I was going to get. Which um, one is it? Is that like Rode? No, it uh, it's the Blue Yeti, which is okay. which is really good. Um, it has it has some really. This is not an ad. <laughs> <laughs> Just so far, I'm really impressed. The following is not sponsored content. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Oh, speaking of uh, ob- object permanence or, or, or lack thereof, um, mm-hmm. I totally, I totally, I, don't, I think you struggle with this too, but I totally. Um, Did you forget? Oh, I forgot about my dad. I, I, I forgot about. I thought he. I forgot he was alive. I, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, not that there was like a like a near death experience or something like that, and he nearly. He was nearly uh, taken from this world, but like, um, I just, I just totally forgot that he was around. Like, we made plans last week that he was going to come around to my place, and we we're going to have, uh, we we're going to have dinner or something. And I just completely, because, because he said, he's, I said to him, "Oh, okay, yeah, we could do this. We could do this uh, uh, Tuesday or, or Wednesday night." Which is weird now that I say that. Because last week I seemed to have thought that I wasn't working today, but today I thought I was working today. Now, now that I've yeah, just said that out loud, yeah, because the time passed, so everything ceased. Like it's that whole, yeah, it's it's object permanence. If you make plans, you know about them now, but mm. then when it comes to the time, it's like, what? No, I, I didn't do that. Yeah, well, I mean, my old man, he didn't. Um, I, I, so, so I said to him Tuesday or Wednesday night, um, and he's like, "Okay, cool. Let me know when." This was like seven days ago, and I'd not said anything because I I'd been so caught up with uh, uni and work and everything, um, and I just completely forgot about it. And then I was I was teaching yesterday at the uni, and while I was in class, I'm like, "Oh, wait a minute, it's Tuesday." I was going to text my dad <laughs> and then I'll I, I text him. I'm like, Hey, can you come? Are you, are you still good to come around? <laughs> and he texts me back and he says, hello. Hi, Kyle. Nice to hear from you. I'm good. Thanks. How are you? But yeah, I, I totally forgot about it, and I, I, I feel like a, I feel like a shit son. And and then my sister said to me today, she said, "What are we going to do for Father's Day?" She said, "It's on Sunday," and I said, "What this Sunday?" And she and she said, "Yeah." I said, well, I, I totally forgot. I didn't know that it was that that Father's Day was was on this Sunday. I'm thinking, Christ, I don't need to be reminded two days in a row how shit of a son I am. That, I have always had the same thing with, like, public holidays and everything. I never, ever realise when they, when they are in relation to now. Like, I know when they are. I don't know where they are in relation to now. So, like, every fucking Christmas, I'm unprepared because I'm like, yeah, Christmas is the 25th. What's today? Mm. Like it just, it just doesn't, it's like, I have no like concept of when, when, yeah. So yeah, yeah, I. Yeah. Like it, it, time, people. You feel awful. I feel, I do. I feel bad. I feel really bad. 
And he says, he, you, know what he, you know what he said to me? He said to me yesterday before he left, because he did, he did end up coming over. And we ended up having dinner. And he came over. And, and when he left, uh, he said to me, son, you always got to look after your family. Always got to always got to put your family first. You know. I said, even if you forget them, especially. <laughs> That's just oh what? Yeah. That's that's a guilt trip and a half. Yeah. It's a very subtle one. It's well played. Yeah. Oh no, he's a grandmaster. <laughs> but do you know, okay, so um because I've always had that. Mm. I I could never remember mum's birthday. Only roughly. But I'd get like I get confused between the months. Genuinely, like June and July, they're too similar, so they're the same month to me. <laughs> they sound they sound the same. They look the same, they sound the same. God damn it, they're right next to each other. Yeah. They're like identical so, twins. I mean, of course you're gonna get one of them wrong. Exactly. Um and so that top combined with my complete lack of understanding as to like when now is to absolutely anything. I would always get really confused as to when mum's birthday was. <laughs> she fixed that by, I asked her once, I think I would have been quite young. And I was like, is your birthday June or July? Because I keep getting confused. And she was like, try giving me a present in July and see how that goes for you. And I've never forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> Since then, like, it's totally one. I forget my own birthday before I forget this. It's <laughs> like, okay, I can't miss this. ADHD just fucking you up. Like, the whole executive function. I mean, that was, that was precisely what sent her face onto her psychotic downward spiral was purely like my executive function like i wouldn't get up and do stuff the second she wanted me to and like i'd have that whole thing like you know i would pick something up i put it down i turn around and it ceases to exist until i come in contact with it again so like i'll be carrying something and it mm. needs to, like I, i'll carry something that needs to go in my bag my bag's out here. I'll go to the bathroom. I'll put it on the sink and wash my hands. Yeah. And then I'll leave the fucking room. And so I'll, there'll just be random shit in random spots because I've put it aside for a second and completely forgotten that it exists. Mm. And oh my God, shit, shit, shit like toothpaste. Toothpaste is a nightmare because toothpaste. the only time. The only time it exists is when I'm brushing my teeth. So the only time I know that I need new toothpaste is when I'm brushing my teeth. So it gets to the very fucking end uh. where I'm like, oh, God, there's there's nothing there. But in that moment, <laughs> You're like squeezing only... it. You're just like rolling it up from the from the base. And you oh, just... yeah, yeah. Like, and I'm, I'm one of those bottom to top. Yeah. So I yeah. don't squeeze through in the middle. I, the whole way, it's methodical. And so by the time, when I'm actually out of toothpaste, it's like, I've, I've like rolled it under like, <laughs> there's nothing left, but the only time that I know that I need toothpaste is when I'm trying to get toothpaste. <laughs> because for the time it takes for me to, you know, leave the bathroom and go to my room and find my phone, I have forgotten its existence. Yep. It's I, like a complete reset. Well, Every, also, well that, that's what ADHD sort of yeah. is, isn't it? It's like a lack of yeah. um, working, like like working, working memory. memory. That's what yeah. it's. That's what it's called. Yeah, I I forget what I'm saying mid sentence a lot. 
Mm. And yeah, I like, and I'll focus so much on people and like, I'll try so hard to remember something that someone's saying, like a point they're making that I'll forget to listen to the rest of what they're saying. Mm. And then like, I'll be waiting for like an opening in conversation to respond to the point they made to show I was listening. But by then it's been like 10 minutes and I haven't listened to anything else. Yeah. So you have no way to know how, how am I going to, how am I going to now (laughs) enter into this conversation? How am I going to contribute something to this conversation when I can't remember what you've been saying for the last five or so minutes? No. And like, it's either that or. I cut them off constantly and like you mm. just interrupt. I I used to try and finish people's sentences all the time and I didn't, I couldn't, like it was just this, you're taking too long to finish your sentence. I want to finish it for you so that I can yeah. contribute. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I, I think I ended up doing that today. Um, <laughs> like, yeah, no, I do it all the time. And I don't even realize it. Because that, it's like I want them, it. I like, want them, it's... yeah, I want them to finish so that I can say something. Like I want to contribute, and it's not because I like enjoying hearing my own voice, though I do like enjoy hear, like enjoy hearing my own <laughs> voice. But it's like because I just, <laughs> I just, I, I don't know. It's like that that sort of sense of connection and like wanting to just socialize and 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 know that you want them to know that you can relate to their experience yeah. as well. Yeah, like it's it's not so like for me it's not so much like I I'm just waiting I'm impatient to contribute. It's that I already know the point that they're getting at, but yeah. they're taking too long to get to the point. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, we could we could save so much time because you're explaining something to me. I already understand it. Let's keep going. <laughs> yeah. Like you don't need to finish your sentence if I already know what you're saying. Like like you know what we need we need like a like an like a real world world app that works like autocorrect or something like predictive text that can tell you, you know, so it's, it's like you're looking at somebody and you're interfacing with them, <laughs> interfacing, you, you, you're talking to them. And then while you're talking with them, you're interfacing with an app. And then that person, like they, they, if they know what you're talking about, they can sort of, they can end the conversation. Like they can initiate like the, the, the predictive text. It's like, you want like, to say just this. Skip, you know, you know, yeah, you know how you'll have like a set amount of time to read something and then within a, a little bit, there'll be a skip button so you can go, yeah, mm. I, I get it. We need that in real life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go, yeah, I know what you're saying. Skip. <laughs> yep, absolutely. Oh, God. Yeah. I'm actually just... What? Totally related. I, um, my fridge is over there. Um, I've got like a whiteboard uh, covering on my fridge so that I can write stuff and wipe it off. Oh, that sounds like it would be really handy. Uh huh. When you remember to use it. I was just thinking because that. Because at was... a certain point, at a certain point, it just becomes part of the furniture, so it no longer registers. <laughs> you, you, you. I know. I can relate too hard to this because I. Uh, like... You've not been to my place, but I've got like a. I've got like um like a schedule. Like a like a like a schedule thing that's like magnetized, you know that you yep. can you can write your schedule for the week or the month or whatever. Um, that's yep. that that was hung on the on the fridge for two years. <laughs> it was blank. Yep. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. I had one and then I threw it out and moved because I was like, this. Yeah. It's either I don't um, look at I don't look at that and think oh that's my schedule. I look at that and I think oh. <laughs> That's that's that's, that's the part that's the that's part of the fridge now. It's just it's it's uh-huh. become part of the fridge. It no longer registers. It's, it's a piece of now. furniture. So, it's a household that's why, appliance. Yeah. <laughs> this is this um that's why I, I I can never be really organized for long because I have to jump to a different thing. So I got one of those like one of the politicians sent like a notepad. So I was like, great. I'm going to write my to-do list. So I got like my to-do list and I uh, colors. We got colors. Okay. And that was a very busy day. 
Wow. Let me see. That that was a lot of work. That was a lot Look, of I, work. I, I tip my hat to you, Alex, because I wouldn't have even gotten that far. And then not a single one of the Oh, two of those. So I wrote this list when I'd already done both of those things. So they're the only things that have been crossed off. The others didn't get done. And then... It became part of the furniture. <laughs> it doesn't exist anymore. This is just a... Yes, that is the couch. You see, I, I didn't even use the first page. I, it's just it's just sat there for about two years, yeah. completely unused. This, okay, so these have now been part of the couch for about two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is just the couch. That is the couch, okay? What, what, what is? What do you do? How can you can? How do you hold the couch? How do you do that? <laughs> it just, you know, it's very sick. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, yeah. Now I've got. Um, <clears throat> it's actually one of the reasons I struggle. One of the main reasons I struggle so much with like meal prep. <clears throat> so what I've tried to do on there, I thought. If I get like a whiteboard thing and I just write what the actual meal plan is, I might be able to follow through. <laughs> that was st- no, no. Um, See, I, I so- can't rely. I can't rely on uh, physical. Oh my god! Okay, perfect example. Um, it's mm-hmm. it's sitting here on my desk. You know how it's part of the furniture now. It's been here for months. It, bullet journals. My girlfriend uses them. She preaches all about them, about how how good they are and how they help her and and so on. And she allocates time to actually write them down and complete her lists and everything. And 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 that's great. But I can't do that. Like oh, this oh, is I... this is just empty, empty pages. Like I've there's there's a space in the front here I... where I've written numbers that I need to remember. Mm-hmm. Yep. But I don't look at them. I literally just yesterday got rid of, so I went down the hole. I was like, I'm in a journal because it's nice and like coloring. And like I watch YouTube videos. I have Pinterest boards and everything. All the insp- inspiration. Alfred is here. I'm doing this. He's like, oh, yeah, we're dancing. Oh, fuck it. I, can, I can hear him dancing. Hang on. Hang on. I'll see if I can. <laughs> so I just want you to know that while I'm doing this, he's there going, "Oh yeah." I, I, I know because I can I can hear him. I can hear him dancing. <laughs> um. So yeah, I I like. Yeah, oh, that's strange. It's shady. That's crazy. I, I don't know. Yeah, why why it's changed? It's it's now you, now you look like you're in an office. You need to stop it quickly. <laughs> Um, God, I've even got the plan. Okay. Um, yeah, like I got, so I went the full Kiki K. I got like an $80 journal, all of the inside. I got stickers from eBay. I had everything. I had washi tape and I, I didn't know what to put in it. So I'd mm-hmm. like decorate the pages and then just, I didn't know how to use it. <laughs> I don't know. It, so it just didn't work for me. So that has like just moved with me for like five years. I finally got rid of that. Mm. <laughs> it doesn't work. Um, and I thought, oh, because I need the color. So I tried at one point when I was trying to do like make myself have a schedule. I did that like I even have like in my in my I used Google calendars. I was like, I've got a breakfast and daily review. I'm gonna that got reduced down to just Mondays, not every day. Do you know how mm-hmm. often I've done that? I just... There is literally I... no form of organisation that actually works for this fucking ADHD brain. It's just like, it doesn't... I'll try that, I'll try that, I'll try that. I'll stick with fucking nothing and I'll follow through with only what brings dopamine. I, yeah, like this, this for example. Um... 
yeah, it's like I need, I kind of need that impulsivity. I need, yeah, I to to like. I mean, that's that's my routine. Um, yeah, just do what I want to do. But the um, like my oh, it's happened again. Sorry. Okay, now I remember what I was going to say. Yeah. It it was a glitch in the matrix. It was like a blip. Oh, Windows has restarted. Okay. Um. Uh-huh. So, no, nope, it's happened again. Uh, <laughs> I spoke too early. Oh, yes, apps that help me. Apps that help me. Okay. Yes. There's so many people that, that talk about apps. Um, just, okay, these, these are apps that are, not, that are not made for people that are neurodivergent at all. They, they may work, they may be effective apps, but they're not for neurodivergent people. However, there is something that does help me. Um, I, there's probably other apps that can do this, but what I've found is using, I use Microsoft To Do, mm-hmm. um, and it's just, and it's it's good for me because I can actually pin it as a widget and it's got a list. So I pin it as a widget on my phone screen on my it's the first thing I see so when I look at it I know that's what I need to do today and I can see in that widget because it's basically like giving me access to most of the features of the app without actually opening the app you know because you have to remember to open the app to use the app so putting it in front of me so that I can see it I don't need to open it to know what I need to do. Oh my God. What is that? What? I I did that and it became part of the phone. So I what? don't look at it. That's my to-do list. That's the Google, that's the Google calendar. I got the widget. So it's right there on my home screen and it became part of the phone. So <laughs> I don't notice it anymore. I was just going to say that I... <laughs> That it was a good idea for me at first, but over time, uh-huh. I've also sort of begun to leave it. Yeah. Like if I'm going to, uh-huh. if I sort of have to every now and then, I'm going to have to sort of add something to the list or make it look different. So it's like, oh, mm-hmm. this is this is different. This is from, from my usual lock screen. That's interesting. That's new. That's shiny. Uh, and then I look at it and then I'm reminded. It has to change. Before it I, has to change. Yeah. They need to... Oh. Okay, someone needs to make like a neurodivergent friendly app that it organizes you. So you can put in like recurring stuff because that's kind of my issue is whenever it's recurring, it just, it stops existing to me because it's it's boring. There's no dopamine. I can smell my housemate cooking. Ooh, what are they cooking? I don't know. I don't know why I'm sniffing the mic. (laughs) (laughs) It's like, it's got oh yeah, I can f- I can smell my housemate cooking. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, I think yeah. It's definitely something, so, some kind of meat mm, with herbs. That's, that's all I can oh give you. Sorry. Do you know? Okay, so you know how like I decided because like I've just been fucked. So like when I get stressed, when I um. I'm like really overwhelmed. My anxiety goes into hyperdrive. So I lose my appetite. Mm. Um, and like not just not having the urge to eat, but like the thought of eating makes me physically sick. And quite often, like if I do eat, I do end up throwing up because my, my stomach is just like, <clears throat> no. Mm. So I've been stuck in that on top of that when I'm like completely overwhelmed, all of my I'll go from sort of like having some food aversions that I can work around to nothing is safe. The only thing I can eat is crisps. And then, of course, I'm like, there's no nutritional value in that. I need to eat. And like, I will try and force myself to eat actual meals and I will genuinely just not eat instead of eating because I can't. Like, I will throw up. So I sort of went, this is, this is getting ridiculous. Like I've been stuck at sort of a low weight for months now because I can't get out of this. 
because mm. it's just ongoing it's just compounding compounding so i i was just like okay this is ridiculous i need to just be able to eat what i can eat so like having this much aversion to food in general and trying to be vegan as well and try and get any fucking nutrition is just mm. impossible while trying to also be budget friendly because i'm i'm broke yeah i mean th- th- that's basically like <laughs> Those are all the variables. It narrows, like, like it, it narrows it down to fucking nothing. I, I was just thinking, like, you know, if this was a video game, you know, and we're talking about stats and shit like that, you, you, you're wearing like you're like over encumbered. You, you've got like no stats at all. Like, you, you, you're playing the worst build, the hardest build in the fucking meta right now. Yeah, like it's literally like it. No one can win. You just keep getting. <laughs> You're going back, you're going back. So I just went, okay, fuck this. I'm just going to have to, and like, especially with the fucking amount that I'm eating, this is not going to have an impact. Mm. Like, um, there, there was, my friends so kindly said, I'm sorry, but with the amount you're eating, you're really not making a difference. And I was like, thank you. That's so nice. <laughs> but what's weird thank is you I for have. Your, your advice, you're, it was so supportive. It sounds so horrible, but it was so supportive. It was like exactly what I needed in that moment. But what's weird is that I have now gone like for years and years, because it has been like something like eight years. Mm. It's been a very long time. And there have been smells that just always like made me nauseous. And I'd just be like, oh, oh, oh. I realized today I was going through and go, Oh my God, that smells amazing. And it was some kind of fucking meat. Like I, it would have been something like some film of pork. I've never liked it, but because something has like fucking switched in my brain. And I was like, I want whatever that is. Bizarre. Like it smells that used to make me actually like gag and throw up and have to leave. I'm there like, that smells good. I want some. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bizarre. So anyway, your housemate's cooking. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Must have finished work and come back and started cooking. Oh. I don't know what it is, but it smells good. Um. I, I don't know. I don't feel like I can contribute much more to the ADHD conversation because I'm not formally diagnosed. So. Uh, I No, there are a lot of people that, because it is so hard to get a diagnosis, it's like there is, especially in this, because psychologists have like a fucking day and then they're supposed to be up. It's bullshit. So people who actually spend weeks and months researching no more Mm. so it's all of basically all of the um all of the groups i'm in self-diagnosis is recognized as valid obviously if you go and get like a formal diagnosis and Mm. it's sort of it's like (laughs) no i mean you you need one right to be able to be medicated or to get a you know, yeah. uh, effective help yes. and assistance to manage. Which is also bullshit because psychologists aren't pharmacists, so why the fuck are they in control of medication? Isn't, isn't but it, that's isn't, another rat. <laughs> but isn't it psychiatrists that are the ones that can that prescribe? Uh, sorry. Oh, oh my yeah. God. I, oh, my God. Yeah, I have a story about that too for another day. What? what, what? Oh, no. I, oh my God. I, the whole process of trying to get diagnosed was fucked because I initially went to try, I went to a psychiatrist for a diagnosis. And she was like, hmm, um, I'm going to refer you on to our psychologist. The psychologist <laughs> diagnosis isn't recognized. He actually like raised his voice at me and was adamant that I don't have ADHD. 
Um, it's just sensory overload. So all of my focus issues will be solved by like just going in a room and removing. And I was like, but I've done what? that and it doesn't work. But, but, no, well, sorry. you don't hold, have hold ADHD. Hold I was like, are you fucking kidding hold me? Hold on. Sensory overload. That's, that's not a condition. That's a symptom. That's like, and that can be a symptom. Well, it can be a symptom of a lot of different things, but that's like, that's totally like a symptom of like so, ADHD. Yeah. Like what the fuck? Yeah. But he decided he completely ignored me and he like raised his voice at me and I kind of like, I fully shut yeah. down because he was adamant that I couldn't possibly have ADHD. He's like, no, it's just autism. You don't have ADHD. Um, and so I like, no and when I it was sort of like, but that doesn't like, no, because like I've tried it and he's like, he like spoke over the top of me, got really annoyed. Hmm. So I ended up like, I stuck with that. I stopped. Um, so the psychiatrist, it, but how stupid that the psychiatrist referred me to a psychologist who diagnosis isn't recognized. So then it took like another year and I finally saw another psychiatrist who was hmm. like, yeah, I can see the ADHD. I'm going to put you on fucking Ritalin. Go on Ritalin. And I, was, I, I finished a fucking certificate. I finished I finished study. I finished a course. It can make a real difference. It, mm. Oh, look, it's amazing because I quite often... I'm literally the, like, I, I, I go through the whole, oh, maybe I don't really have ADHD. Cause, and then I am the legitimate stereotype mm. of, I forget to take my medication, my supposedly highly addictive medication. I forget to take it on a regular basis, on a regular fucking basis. And then I'll be like, oh, why is like, it's a big one for me is like feeding the birds seems like an impossible task. And I'll just be going, oh, I want to do this. I don't know why, but it seems like a massive fucking deal and I can't get up yeah. and do it. And well, then I'll like start taking my medication and I'll just like, I'll find myself, I'll think, oh, I should do this. And then the next thought I have is, wait, I've done this now. When did, how, what? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's the, it's the initiation it's, of the task, right? It's the, that's, it's that's the, the executive it's, function. It's, it's starting from stopping. It's start, stop. You, you need to... Yeah. It's it's the inertia. You have to overcome that yeah. inertia. That's what people don't realize about executive function because they take it for granted. Like they think, oh, I should do this and they'll just get up and do it. If you mm. have, if you don't have executive function, you actually physically cannot because your brain doesn't go, oh, I should do this. All right, buddy, let's get up. It doesn't do that. So you yeah. have to like have this whole, I really want to do this. I really like, it's not actually going to, and you have to convince and it's, fucking exhausting and then people just look on and go that's not a big deal why aren't you doing it it's like <sighs> yeah oh god this i feel like i could you could easily um you could easily begin to connect this to the whole sort of toxic um uh influencer and hustle culture hustle culture oh my hustle god culture. <laughs> just you just need to eat shit <laughs> and love it you just need to wake up at 5am every day I'm not motivated. I'm dedicated. I'm consistent. It's like, okay, how do you maintain the consistency? You have fucking motivation. Uh, Fuck you. I just. Oh my god, I hate that. That's a trend now. Is it like, oh, people ask me how I stay so motivated. I'm not motivated. I'm just dedicated. It's like, okay, how do you make yourself fucking do it? You have the fucking motivation. It's just intrinsic. You. It's not intrinsic for everyone. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, you just said it best. I mean, I can't say much more than that, but just, yeah, fuck those people. Um, mm, fuck them to hell. Uh, oh, it's so fucking invalidating and dismissive and just self in fucking bold. Oh, it's, it's, sort of, it's sort of like, well, yeah, and it's... It's, it's that whole, of, it's, I did it so yeah, everyone can yeah, do it. No. Oh, so, it's, it's sort of high and mighty. It's like, well... <clears throat> Oh, you know, it, it, yeah. Well, it's like you said. Like I've, I've, I've done it. I can do it. You're, you, you can't do it because you're choosing not to do it. 
you 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 are making the choice right now to be fucking lazy. It's it's no. <laughs> and I just <clears throat> like I mean, how do you how do you how do you reason with that kind of logic? I mean, oh, it's, look, it's it's completely it's arguing completely from a position where this person clearly doesn't have any information about um well about about how, anything outside of their lived experience. Well, yeah, yeah, no, it's it's completely self involved, and and and, mm. and it's a and it's an absolute delusion. Um, yeah. Oh, hundred percent. And and it's, it's not even fucking delusion. true either because no. they don't even they don't even fucking believe that. Because everyone's everyone's got a point where they just can't be fucked anymore, or they can't do something. You know, they don't have the That's motivation it. to do something. It's just a matter of where you draw that line, or where your circumstances, or draw that line for you. You know, it mm. it's completely arbitrary, and and it's a load of horse shit. Complete. Complete and utter. It's like the people that are like, I'm not privileged. I worked hard to get where I'm at. <laughs> it's it's okay. the same fucking thing. Okay. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna mute myself and I'll be back in like a minute. But okay. I'm just I just wanted to plant that because I know that it will make you fucking rage. I sorry, I didn't I didn't catch that last part. What did you say? Sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna mute myself and yeah. duck off. For oh a no no minute. no no! Before that, you said you were gonna say something before. That was gonna make me rage. What? Oh, I. It was the. It's. It's the same line of thinking as the people who are like, I don't. I'm not privileged. I don't have privilege. Oh, I work hard to get yeah, where I yeah. am. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's gonna make me seethe. Thank you. So when, I think when you stop recording, I had tried to rile you up by talking about like oh. how people don't recognize privilege oh yeah oh god <laughs> it's do wanna, like just do we want to do we want to start another one hour bloody because <laughs> i feel like that's where it's gonna go now no we got we got to leave it somewhere because then we got to have something to talk about for next time yeah next. well but just also think you have to edit this <laughs> yeah that's true oh well i mean this could, this could be where it just goes to die because you're like editing. Oh fuck! <laughs> well, I mean, I, I'm not. I, I I haven't really given myself a strict timeline with this. It's just sort of like whenever we can do it, I guess. Yeah. Um. I mean, yeah. Like the. I think it's good to like record and then have content so where we don't have time, you still have something to post. Hmm. That, that was one thing I fucking learnt was always have something ready, like have it prepared in advance because you will be fucked otherwise. Because if you have something new to record and then post, that's great, but quite often you won't and then you're like, I don't have inspiration. So, yeah. Yeah. Well. If we if we want to like write out the the initial impulsivity of it and just like record every fucking day. Mm. for you know a month down the line where we don't want to record for a week i think that's probably good and obviously i have the time and i'm bored and i want to do something <laughs> I, I just, yeah no i mean i'm I'm all for it um i don't know if i will have the time <laughs> like, uh-huh. uh it's probably going to be sporadic yeah but yeah yeah that's look, what i mean I... like you you record you, you get a few things sporadically ready to go on a regular interval rather than posting them whenever we do them just hold off and mm. then set like a weekly post yeah yeah absolutely well i mean mm. i think there's a lot of stuff that we can still talk about oh my god uh, yeah so much not tonight <laughs> not tonight no. but, but but next time we both um, need, we both need to eat yeah we do i'm i'm starving the um, adults. Then I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna play some video games because I don't think I've done that in far too long, and I'm probably gonna keep using this microphone while I do it. I think I might start streaming tonight. I don't know. We'll see how I go. <laughs> okay. I, 
I just like this microphone too much. I I just like holding it and talking into it, being a real creep with it. Yes. Mine has mine has the little stand. Like it's definitely a hands off. It's like don't touch me, don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, this is definitely not a. I don't feel comfortable holding this at all. This feels wrong. It's this is not the most optimal microphone to hold. Look at look at it. Optimal means most. Oh my god! So I just hold it like this. I mean, it's not really meant to be held. It's optimal supposed to be means sort of. Most. You can't sat say down. most optimal. It's optimal. If it's optimal, it means the most. <laughs> Is this optimal? <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna end the recording there and. Okay. We'll, we'll catch up next time. We will. At an unspecified date? At an unspecified date. <laughs> cool.